What causes grief? What causes peace? What brings about tranquility in our lives? Surah Al-Fatih verse 4. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala in this particular verse is talking about peace and tranquility. Where he says, وَالَّذِي أَنزَلَ السَّقِينَةَ فِي قُلُوبِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ لِيَزْدَادُوا إِيمَانًا مَعَ إِيمَانِهِ He is the one who sends tranquility and peace to the heart of a believer. So that the iman and the faith of believer get increased by that tranquility. We invite you, let us look at two major qualities of a believer. And I want brothers and sisters to pay attention to understand these qualities. Understanding the two qualities will help us understand the value of peace and tranquility in our lives. The first quality of a believer, which is regarded the major quality, is halatul wajil. A believer, a true believer, is always in a state of sadness when he commits a sin against Allah. A believer, if he commits a sin, he cannot sleep. A believer, if he indulge into a lawful act, be it small or big or the minutest of a lawful act, a believer cannot sleep. His heart shakes. That's a sign of a believer. He has called us when they dissect and examine these books. They said, what makes the heart of a mu'min to shake? Is when he goes against the law of Allah. Today you find us, we say, Hussein, 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 Hussein. We commit sin. Some of us, after the madness of Abba Abdullah, the first thing in our car is music. So the first quality of a believer, which Hussein alayhi salam expect us to achieve and obtain, is to always have this fear when you commit a sin. That's number one. Take note of that. Number two quality of a believer is halatul itmi'nan. State of tranquility. Mu'min, real mu'min, is always at peace. Irrespective of whatever, except when he commits a sin. Real mu'min, ah, uh -uh, is always at peace. Quran, Surah Al-Fajr, verse 30. Ya ayyatuha nafsul mutma'in. Irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan marbi. Fadukuli fi ibadi wa dukuli jannati. Isn't it? A believer will be addressed by the angels before he departs from this world. That soul... Allah will tell the angels, address that soul as tranquil soul. But now the question is, how do I know if my soul is tranquil soul? You want to assess yourself. You want to know whether your nafs is nafs mutmain. There are three signs. You want to know you are at peace? According to the teachings of Allah, there are three. And I want you to pay attention to these three qualities. The first one is in Shirah al -Sodom. A tranquil heart or soul is a big heart. What's a big heart? Check Surah to Zumar verse 22. <laughs> أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِنْ رَبِّهِ Zumar 22 Big heart simply means I enjoy Allah's worship When I come to Salah, I enjoy I don't want the Salah to come to an end when I recite Quran, I enjoy. That means you have a tranquil heart. Don't you see something that when you make salah, you feel heaviness here? It's like a load. You are a stressful person. You've got stress. You are depressed. Salah, ibadah, is to let us feel that warmth. 
Imam Ali said, it is enough honor for me that you are my Lord. And I'm proud that I am your servant. He said, oh Allah, you are the way I want. Make me the way you want. That's the first sign of a trampled soul. Some souls know they are not trampled. He come to Ibadah, he's so agitated, he want to finish. So matasat kulu. Min ba'di dhalik. Fahiyya kal hijarati aw ashaddu kaswa. Quran says some of the souls are very hard. Even harder than the stones and mountains. A'anlam tahum, amlam tundiruhum, la yukunilu. You talk to them, you counsel them, you admonish them, you don't do that, it's the same to them. The second sign is hudu, calmness. Someone who's got tranquil soul is always calm. Very calm. And refer you back to the first verse, Surah al Fatih, verse 4. Allah placed that tranquility and peace in his heart. So he's always relaxed. Big problem, he's relaxed. Because his aim is Allah and nobody else. So the second sign is that tranquil heart is always calm, calm, relaxed. And the third sign of a tranquil soul if a thabat, steadfastness, do you think we are steadfast? We are not nafsul mutma'inna. One of the verification of nafsul mutma'inna is Aba Abdullah. And if you claim to love Aba Abdullah, then you must also be nafsul mutma'inna. Those who truly believe in Allah, they are steadfast. Situation doesn't change them. Problems doesn't change them. In fact, it makes them more stronger. Because Imam Ali said, Allah examined the one he loved the most. Hence, he examined Ahl al-Bayt more than any other. To believer, whatever comes his way, whether good or bad, is a name of Allah. 